Hello my diamond art friends, my name is Eileen and welcome to my channel. If you are new to my channel, welcome. And if you are returning, thank you for your continued support and friendship. Today is Friday, November 1st. And I am going to do my October in review. So I'm gonna show you all the diamond painting slash art projects that I completed in the month of October. But before I do that, I wanna share with you the goodies I found today. I took half the day off, I had an appointment um, with a friend and I stopped at Walmart on my way home because I wanted to just try to get some grocery shopping out of the way. So I'm not running around a lot tomorrow, maybe, but we'll see, I still have a lot to get done. But anyway, I, of course, perused on down the section where they have the 50% off Halloween items slash candy. And I picked up a couple um, candy uh, packages. And the first thing I picked up, or one of the candy packages, was this Reese's, Kit Kat, Hershey's, and Twizzler mix. And let me just see if I can find on my sheet how much it was. It was 50% off, and this was $2.97. And the good thing about this is I bring the gentleman that helps me clean up from bingo that lives at the facility I work at on Sundays a chocolate treat every Sunday along with a diet soda with his sister's permission as kind of a thank you for helping me and these will be perfect for that. Um, so that was, and it, he doesn't like Twizzlers so they're gonna be all mine. I'm gonna eat them all. And then the next pack I got, which was also $2.97, I got this 30 pack of Three Musketeer Milky Way Twix and Snickers. And, um, Yeah, and then I also, I forgot to take that out of the refrigerator because I actually put these in the refrigerator. I got a package of mounds and they were $1.98. So I got all that for half off. So let's get on down to what I really am doing this video about. Um, my month in review. I'm gonna put my little book here so I can remember get to where I started from when we get started. Okay. Well, we're going to be flipping around a little bit, but that's okay. So the first thing I'm going to show is the only off canvas project that I completed for this month. And it was completed on October 3rd. And these were these owl cutouts, wood cutouts. And I did do a short on them, I believe and they were fun to do. I honestly, not that I didn't want to do any off canvas projects this month, it's just I think that the hurricane and just work's gotten a little busier, which I'm happy about. Um, you know, doesn't make me worry about getting something kid up, kitted up to do like in my off time or when I'm on break from work, because lately when I take my break from work, I literally will sit on the couch and just sit there for half an hour to 45 minutes and just decompress without diamond painting or anything. But anyway, that is the only off canvas project I did. Now we're gonna go through the partials that I completed. Now these were all done in like uh, time lapse on, the, on my channel. So I'll just kind of go over like how many special shapes and drills or, and when I completed it. So this is Halloween Elixir. I completed it on October 5th and it had 12 special shapes and rhinestones. And I think it's adorable. So that's the first one I completed. I'm out of order here. The next one I completed was this Young Fox. I completed that on October 14th and it was eight special shapes and rhinestones. The next 
next one that I completed was on October 19th and it was 11 special shapes and rhinestones and we can see it's a beautiful owl which is one of my favorite things and the last partial that I did for the month of October was this what what I called wild horse and it was eight special shapes and rhinestones and I completed it on October 28th. So those are the partials. And then I did one small canvas, like what I consider a very, very tiny snack size canvas when I was kind of waiting for electric during the hurricane. This is from Michael's Make Market brand and it's the uh, Grim Reaper. And I thought it came out really lovely and I did use the magnets but honestly, if I was gonna um, use this, I probably would paint the wood black or try to get like black stain or something to try to make it look a little creepier than the blue. But yeah, um, fun little project, easy to do. And I was able to do it when I didn't have electric. So very pleased. I actually like make market kits. Um, many of you may already know that. All right, so I'm going to be skipping around a little bit because I don't know when I finished them or when I, I started versus when I finished, if that makes sense. But the first one I'm going to show you is called Valentine's Spaniel. And I got this off the Diamond Art Club, the Diamond Art Club um, page on Amazon or shop on Amazon. I started this on September 22nd and finished it on 10-7. It was not done for any special event and it was 29 colors, which included two ABs. So the ABs, as you can see, would be here in the nose. I don't know if you can tell, I'll bring it up. You can right there in the nose. And then the other one, let me find it would be the white 141 and the hearts. I thought it came out super lovely. I loved the pink. There was a lot of color blocking as you can see and it was a pleasure to do. No complaints. All right, I'm going to do the smaller canvases and then work my way up to the bigger canvases just because the last one. Okay, so. That's what we're going to do. Okay. And then here is a um, keep the jokes coming. And this was purchased from Raven Diamond Art. It was 41 colors with two ABs round drill. I started this canvas as a Sunday project. So I started it on October 11th and finished it on the, the 27th. It is a 30 by 40. I love Raven Diamond Art canvases. I have no complaints. You can see how well this rendered and just all the amazing colors. But if you are wondering where the ABs are, I'll show you. So you'll see that there was a green AB, which is right there in the Joker's hair. And then the other AB was 725, which was a yellow AB. And you can see it in a couple places. And you also could see ABs here as well, green ABs. I loved this one. It was so much fun to do. I, like I said, love Raven Diamond Art canvases, 100% recommend them. All right, the next one will be, this is called the Night Owl. And I got this as a product review package from Outdoor Tide. Let me get to that page. I started this canvas on September 22nd and finished it on October 15th. It had ABs. Um, I didn't write down how many ABs, but I want to say there were four or five ABs. And I will kind of bring this up. I love this canvas. It came out amazing, as you can see. And I can't say enough wonderful things about this canvas, but let's go ahead and take a look. There are some ABs right over in here. And as you can see, going down the card, 
There are some ABs here and in here. It was, they were pretty much scattered throughout. And as you can see, this canvas is super, super shiny. Um, yeah, I loved it and um, makes me really look, look forward to uh, doing the event I want to do in February, which is going to be tarot cards. So yeah, look out for more information on that, but absolutely recommend this canvas if you decide you want to get it. And then my last uh, canvas I'm going to show, I completed for Dark and Creepy Diamond Paintings Horror Crush event. This is um, a custom I had made of the wrestler known as Bray Wyatt and the Fiend. His um, The man that portrayed these characters, Wyndham Rotunda, died last year um, due to some complications he had um, from having COVID. It wasn't COVID, but it was kind of his heart was weak and there were some, you know, health issues there. But he had a character that was known as Bray Wyatt and had an alter ego who was the fiend. Um, Bray Wyatt was a Mr. Rogers character and the fiend was like his evil um, side. <sighs> this man was a genius um, when it came to character work. I've said this before. This was a square drill and, oh gosh, how many colors was it? Let me look it up. I know I wrote that down. It was 30 colors. It's a 50 by 50. And I actually have decided to name this canvas, Let Me In. And the reason why is because the fiend, when Bray Wyatt did the Firefly Funhouse, at the end, the fiend, you'd hear his voice go, let me in. Anyway. <laughs> um, so yeah, uh, that's what I'm, I've named this canvas. There is some gapping, um, but part of that I think was me because I did do this with like the different challenges. So I wasn't too hard on myself with the fact that there is plenty of gapping, but I do feel that was more of a person doing the canvas problem than the canvas being the problem or the spacing. Um, oh, I got a drill cup that popped it back in. So I'm gonna seal this one and I'm gonna save it, of course. I loved this canvas. Um, a lot of color blocking, but as you can see, it rendered really well. And I do feel that it was a gorgeous, gorgeous canvas. And I'm very proud of myself for completing it and doing the challenges. So that's gonna be my video. I will let you know if you stuck on till the end. I am gonna be filming a um, video tomorrow with some holiday, December holiday, uh, make market kits I got from Michael's and I am going to have, I don't wanna say a surprise, it's going to be something for me to give back to one of my lucky subscribers. But please stay tuned for that and be sure to look out for that. Um, I've had that particular uh, surprise <laughs> for, uh, a month or so now, a little over a month, I think. And I've just been holding on it because I wanted Halloween to get all of its shine and not be, you know, not have the December holiday kind of overtake it. So that's my video of my October in review. So please like and comment. And as always, have yourself a nice day or night, whatever it is for you. Take care. Happy diamond painting. And until my next video, bye.